Okay, Tuesday, Jeff of All Trades podcast is coming at you. I am beyond myself, super excited. I'm getting a, getting still getting set up here. Hopefully by the 10 show I'll have it all figured out. Um, I have been waiting to get this person on the show uh, for a long time. And as soon as I had the thought of doing a show, I was like, oh, this is a, an amazing person. And I'm going to tell you uh, in the show when I first met him and, and what I immediately thought and what caught my eye. So I'm going to talk a little bit about today uh, is we're going to talk about Appreciate Marketing. The podcast is Jeff of All Trades. It's not just real estate. It's a community-based show. Um, the influencer in the community, it's about small businesses. It's about the real estate. It's about everything to do with real estate plus all the other stuff that goes along in the community. Okay, getting to my guest who's on the right side of my page, introducing national best-selling author, which is an awesome thing to say about anybody. That, it, I just, I can't get enough of it. I'm going to say it again. National best-selling author and founder of AM Cards, which I use like every other day. I want to welcome Curtis Luis. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Did I say that? Did I say that right? No, you butchered it. It's Lucy. Lucy. Oh, I was practicing <laughs> that. Where's my assistant? It, oh. it's, all, it's all good, brother. I'm going to blame my assistant because I said Lucy. Is Lucy it? Uh, Curtis Lucy. It's pronounced like uh, same as L-U-C-Y. So, uh, I'm just sharing. I'm sorry. I, I You have my attention. You asked me to share this post, so I'm doing yeah. that right now. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and, and uh, share it for mine, and um, then I'll share on yours. Okay, awesome. guys, if you don't know who this gentleman is, he wrote a book um, and actually got it signed. This is the book that I won. No, I don't. I had to do something to get the book, but this is Appreciation Marketing. What I love about this book is that it's not that long. Like, it's like three hours. And I'm an audible person. Um, I, I can sit down and read, but it just takes me forever. I like to listen to listen to on my watch, my iWatch, or on my iPad. And this is on Audible. Like, if you have a book, get it on Audible. And this is amazing. I, this book opened my eyes up to a different way of uh, helping a customer, getting in front of a customer, something I was always doing, but I didn't think that there was a process of it. And the person that is with me today wrote this book. It's, it's called Appreciate Marketing, and it's getting someone's attention by showing them appreciation before any, vow, before any commitment before any service is done, and I feel like a lot of people aren't going to do anything until they know they got the deal. Um, this, is, uh, is, this isn't about that. It's about giving value, tons of value, before you get the deal. And also, and, and to that, you were mentioning the audio book. What I'll do is, if anyone wants to comment in the bottom and put in their email, I'll have you and your wife maybe possibly send out. I'm going to give you a link for a free download My of the tech. audio book. So you can send... Uh, send you maybe a, a private message and I'll end up giving you the link so you can reply to them and, and give them all the audio book for free if they'd like. I'm going to repeat what he just said. Guys, you can get a free copy of this. <laughs> get a free copy of this. Read it three times. Read it every couple months. Everywhere I go, um, well, not every, a lot of places I go and you ask the speaker what's one of their top 10 or top five books, this is in a lot of people's lists. This is in a lot of, and that's what got my attention. That's what got my attention. So we're going to talk a little bit about it. Um, uh, Curtis, tell us a little bit about yourself. But like before the book, I know that you work for a company, um, I can't, um, the one that delivers mats and stuff like that. I remember hearing that story. But just kind of tell us a little about yourself. We're in Florida, Central Florida, Orlando area for people that aren't local and, and don't know me locally, but we're in Central Florida. I don't think Curtis is from Florida, so just kind of give us a little quick rundown of, of how you became yeah. who you are. Yeah, so I grew up in upstate New York, uh, up, up near Saratoga Springs. I played baseball in college in Fairfield, Connecticut at Sacred Heart University. Uh, I was an RA on campus. I was a full-time student, obviously, baseball, and worked all the basketball games, football games, and whatnot to be able to make a little extra money. And then my junior year of college... My dad gives me a call to get too many loans outstanding as a family and need to find a way to stay in school. So I actually started a network marketing business and I paid for my tuition my last three semesters of college with that. I was planning on going full time and not getting a, 
a job, so to speak, right out of college. However, that business went bankrupt. And oh, wow. so I ended up uh, getting a job at Cintas Corporation right out of college. And I took some of the personal development stuff that I was learning in college while I was in the network marketing business, I took the whole Jim Rohn quote. Oh, yeah. Jim Rohn says, what you lack in skill, you can make up in numbers. So I went into Cintas Corporation selling all kinds of sexy products like toilet paper and air fresheners and soaps and floor mats and just knocking on every door, every store and every floor in New Haven, Connecticut. And, you know, quickly uh, rose to the top there, was a, was a top in the company and and made a lot of money when I was really young. It was great. And then I left my job at 23 years young to pursue long, a business that was, what's that? How long were you at that job? I was there for two years. So and, you, you know, I, and I, re I went to work there because I read the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, when I was in college. Yeah. And Robert true. Kiyosaki's Rich Dad said, work for Xerox, not for the money, for the training. And that, so I went to work for a multi-billion dollar company more for the training than anything. And then I left, was with uh, a company that was all about appreciation and gratitude. And that's when my business partner, Tommy, and I actually wrote the book. We were international trainers with that company, traveling around the country. I spent six months in Australia doing a book tour down there. And it was awesome. One of the things that we realized is that as we travel around, it truly is a competitive advantage in business to say thank you. It's as simple as that. Just... You see, when people know that you care, you go to the top of the list. And you're not Jeff the realtor, you're Jeff my realtor. And that's a different level of energy. And so what we're doing is it's all common sense stuff, it's just not common practice. And it's something that can really separate you in business and in life to be able to create that mind share, make people remember you when your product or service is, is needed. That's amazing, that's amazing. Going back to your school, the last three semesters, you, you worked for a network marketing. Was that over the phone or door to door or what was that? So multi-level network marketing. Oh, multi so it was actually, okay. Yeah, multi-level. So it was actually a long distance telephone service company. And okay. the reason why I went bankrupt is because eventually long distance became free. And if you're in a business where your product or service becomes free, that's kind of bad for you. <laughs> I remember that. I remember this. The yep. uh, multi-level marketing um, is is People get scared of it. There's a lot of bad market level marketing. That's awesome. So you finished your school working on almost a full-time job. And that what you just said about Rich Dad, Poor Dad, I read that book. And for someone to take the words out of it, so that that book's old, old, old-ish, you know? So you read it back then and said, let me go to the best company to get the training. That's, that's awesome. I've never heard anybody say that. Um, especially, you know, just out, that's, uh, that's very unique, very unique. I'm going to say that. That's awesome. I had an awesome mentor in that company, super high energy. And if you told me I was going to be selling toilet paper and air fresheners, like I would be, I'd laugh in your face because I wanted to go to Smith Barney. I wanted to go to Goldman Sachs. I was going to do the wall street whole thing. And, and, you know, I'm so glad that I didn't, I'm so glad that I had some of that education outside of college and reading books like my first three books that I ever really read. I mean, in high school, I think I skimmed through Lord of the Flies. I think that's about <laughs> it. And then when I was in college, all of a sudden, I didn't have to read at all. Like, out, and, I, and I wanted to. So it was Think and Grow Rich, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Book. Number one book. Yeah, it by far is number one book. Everybody that I talk to that is at the level or wants to be at the level or is it is an interesting or a good person to talk to? Think and grow rich. Think and grow rich. I think I read that when I was like ten years old. It's it's huh. nuts, and it changed my life. Literally changed my life. So think and grow rich. Rich dad, poor dad. And what was the third one? How to win friends and influence people. How to win friends and influence. We're gonna how to win friends and influence people. We're gonna put that in the notes. Top three books. Curtis. Boom, boom, boom. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, okay, so great background. Um, I remember you saying the company you work for, I just couldn't remember the name of it. What a lot of people don't realize, that company is in almost every restaurant, every store, every business that has a large volume because of the quality that people will um, overlook when it's there, but look at it when it's not there. You go to a store that doesn't have the proper toilet utensils, toilet stuff, bathroom stuff, and you're like, oh man, this is bad. Like you go to a gas station 
And I used to be on the road all the time, and I went to a lot of gas stations. And I only went to the best ones, Racetrack and 7-Eleven. This is not an ad. But I only went there because I knew that I had a better chance. But that's what that, – it, so it doesn't matter what the product you're selling. It matters the quality that the product is giving and that company, like that, that's what you're looking at. You weren't thinking about the product. You were thinking about the quality and the quality that you can learn from it. Look, let me share my biggest takeaway working with Cintas. So after being there about six months, in my first full month, I was number one in the country out of 1,250 reps. And I was 22 years young, and I think I- For one, 1,250? 1,250, yes. You went from- And I hustled, like, I hustled like crazy and had a- Huge commission check a month. It was super awesome. And then about six months in, there was a gentleman named Sean, and he was number one. And he was number one consistently, month after month, quarter after quarter, year after year. And he and we never it's hardly he ever worked. It was like he put in 20 hours a week and had almost double the numbers that we did. And so we went out to lunch one day and he and he bought me sushi. And he says, Curtis, you're going to burn yourself out. I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty much burnt out now. I don't know if I want to continue doing this. And he says, well, what you need to understand is you have to take care of the people that have potential to take care of you. And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like that driver that's driving the truck, servicing the accounts that you sell every single week, going in and out. He goes, they're your eyes and ears. So when they see a sign that says under new management or coming soon, that lead, usually the first one in the door sells the business. So you want them to be able to share that with you. And I said, okay. And he goes, do you know that? He goes, who's that? Who's in your, in your territory? And let's say his name was Tom. And he goes, he, I said, yeah, Tom, he's in my territory. And he says, uh, do you know that Tom gives me all of his referrals? I'm like, it's my territory. What do you mean you get referrals? He goes, well, he goes, tell me about Tom. And I said, I said, well, he, he services my accounts. He's like, what you don't know is that. He, uh, he's a father of three. He likes to go fishing on the weekends. He's training for a sprint triathlon. He goes, see, I know these things. He goes, you got to get to know people for who they are, not just what they do. Yeah. And, yeah. and I said, okay. So I threw on the uniform. I started carrying mats for a whole week. I didn't sell anything. I just got on the trucks and helped them during the holiday season. And I'll tell you what, that came back many, many, many times over because I started working less hours and making the same amount of money because I was getting referrals from people that were sending me business. Instead, I thought we were just, it was just like you turn it over to customer support and that's it. You're done. Your hands off. However, when he taught me, he's like, you got to get to know people for who they are, what they, not what they do and take care of the people that have potential to take care of you. Be nice to everybody. However, there's people in your life. And like, so no matter what business you're in, there's key influencers that could be feeding you lots of business. I'll give an example. I work with a real estate agent up in Virginia, and he constantly gets 10 referrals a month from one, one HR manager. Wow. That this is a big company that does government contracts, and there's at least five people leaving that he gets referral fees on, and at least five people come into town that he's taking care of their business just because he built that one solid relationship. Wow. That's huge. That's huge. Just to recap on what you said, because you, you're saying so many good golden nuggets. Back at, uh, say the name of the company again. Cintas. C-I-N-T-A-S. Yeah. Huge company. The, it still, it's massive. The, you were number one. Someone else became number one. No, they were number one consistent. I always just won one month. <laughs> they were number one. You became number one, and then they became number one again, and then stayed. And you're like, how is this guy doing that? You talked about this when I first met you, which we'll get into that in a second. You said that you need to service the people that are servicing your sales or servicing what product you're doing. And that's so huge because we overlook the workers, which we think are workers. We overlook the people that are installing the product, the people that are delivering the product, the people that are working on the product. And those people are what we're really selling. And those people, like when the customer talks to them, they have a wall that's already down because they already talked to us. They, you know, we built their trust and now they're happy. But when they talk to those people, they're really going to tell you what they think. And that I, I've seen that so many ways. So you're that's that, when you told me that I was like, how can I utilize that? And at that time I was doing uh, a couple things and I did. I was like, I need to go take care of the guys that are taking care of me. And I, I did that, but I didn't do it as well. I could have done more. And that's what I did. So just I just wanted to recap that 
Yeah. Hey, the people that are actually doing the things that you're doing, because this isn't just real estate, it could be for any service, talk to them, find out. Just because they're delivering it doesn't mean that they're they're not any better or worse, you know? You said he has kids, he likes to go fishing, he's training for a sprint or a race. Once you get to know someone at a human level and build that relationship, and I always preach that this whatever business you're in, it's about relationships. It's th this, this immediate... Uh, result, this immediate sell, this immediate payment is not how long-term success works. You're building a relationship, and, and I do two to three open houses a week, and I do that, I do so many open houses. One, it gives the buyer an opportunity to go with an agent. Two, I meet a lot of people, and they and they discard. Oh, I, I I don't need your assistance, or I don't want to take your material because I'm not ready. That's okay. You need it more now than ever because it's going to help you get ready whether it's six months or 12 months or even two years. You're talking about that agent that gets so referrals um, from that one person who he probably serviced. He's like, okay, I'm going to take care of you, top 10 rating, and then you're going to stay with them and stay with them and stay with them. And a lot of people forget to do that. So I, I just wanted to recap. So, and one of the things I want to go back and kind of get a little more clear, give a little more clarity is that, so at whatever business you're in, you think that the people in your life know your business they don't know the business like you and most importantly what people do is they overlook um educating your sphere ed educating your database educating the people that care about you of how they can bring you business and so by sharing a testimonial of how you help this person or that person and you know if you're new to a business the fastest way to grow is to you gotta look at every single person as like this invisible door that they have, and they could only them can open up this door behind them to a whole different network of people. So if you educate that person in a way that makes them feel that you're not gonna attack the people that they're gonna send, oh. and it's more of an education, then what's gonna happen is that they are going to go out of their way and find ways to be able to help you. And you'd see the whole thing is like the whole thing is that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. They don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. So get to know them. It's not about you. So in our book, we talk about the puker. One of the biggest things that with me, when I used to go network, I used to go out there and I used to just throw up all over people. And I used to be the one doing 80 to 90% of the talking. And when I flipped it around and made it more about them and I was genuine and figuring out ways to connect them with a, a certain person or trying to find them direct business or maybe I could become a customer or something, it whole thing changed. We called it the three quarter rule where they're talking three quarters of the time. And that's how you turn, um, a, you, that's why you turn like just a lunch into a lifetime friend. So like you, you know, one, one, sit down with somebody and how you can open up the door. So you educate them. That's number one. And if you're new to a business, make sure that you're just making a list. I learned this from my network marketing days. Go out there without trying to sell them something, educate them, and then share with them who do you know who. Like ask them. That's great. And then what you need to do more than ever before is make sure they reward the behavior, not the mm -hmm. conviction check. Okay? So what you're doing is you're rewarding the behavior not the commission check. So if somebody sends you a referral, re realize that behavior rewarded is behavior repeated. And I'm going to say that again. Behavior rewarded is behavior repeated. So when you go ahead and you send a box of brownies with a greeting card or something to their office to thank them so much for going out of their way to send you their cousin to take care of their financial services or help them buy a house or insurance, whatever, buy a new car, whatever business it is, reward that behavior if you want to get more referrals. So one of the trainings that I do when I do the trainings for different businesses and conference calls, but I really go into a little bit more of a deep dive in what to do to stand out and be different and more importantly, be remembered the next time that product or service is needed. Not only that person, but anybody in their network. That was good. That was being uh, just so much good information. Oh my gosh, just so much. Let me ask you a question. What is the person called that talks uh, most of the time? You you just you said it, but you call him a name in your book too. What did you call him? Call him the puker. It's it's puker. chapter four. It's called the seven deadly creatures to avoid becoming, and one of them is like uh, the the sucker. And the sucker the sucker is 
Uh, let me. You ever get? You guys have somebody in your life that you know just the sight of their name on your caller ID on your phone just drains your energy, or an email comes through and you don't even not even gonna open it because it just drains your energy. We all have those types of people in our life, the energy suckers. Well, sure. what you need what you need to ask yourself is what are other people thinking when they see your name yeah. on their phone? So that's the real question. So are you an energy giver or are you an energy sucker? So I know that there are several people in my life that when they call, no matter what I'm doing, I'm finding a way to answer that phone. Even if it's like, can I call you back in 10 minutes? I'm answering that phone. And there's other people like, you know, let it roll the voicemail, you know? So it's just the way it is. It's human nature. So just think of yourself, like what type of energy are you putting out? Guys, today's show, Jeff and Bob podcast. We have Curtis. He's talking about the book. He's throwing down golden nugget after golden nugget after golden nugget. And these golden nuggets are in this book. And there, you can get a free download of this book. It's going to be in the link. Uh, you have to download it from the link to get it. But, man, um, tons of good information. And I'm going to go back to everything he's talking about and what he's going over is in this book. He talked about the puker. I am the biggest one. I try so hard not to be. I admit my weaknesses. And every time I read this book, it clicks, it clicks. And then there's another one. Oh, I was, I was reading it last night about the um, person that, mm, I, I might have to come back to it, but you're telling a story and the story is about the, um, oh, the person has a friend who he calls. The, the friend calls him every six months or four months and says, hey, I'm doing awesome, I'm doing good. I, and I think, I don't know, you talking, the other gentleman talks, your previous partner talks. Tommy. Tommy, uh, Tommy yeah. talks, and then you talk, which your voices are really different. Like, you have a really good audible voice. He has a really good audible voice. Some people don't have a good audible voice. Like, Damon John doesn't, uh, but he has a guy talk for him. Long story short, the friend calls, talks about himself, how much money he's going to make, how much money he made, and what business he's in, and what he wants the friend to get in. The friend listens, listens, listens. And then when the friend says, great, great, I'm really not interested in the business, the, the other guy hangs up. And he, do, he doesn't want anything really, to, doesn't care about knowing anything about this guy that he's known his entire life. He just wants to dump everything that he's doing well onto him. And, and he's hoping that guy says he's not doing well, so that makes him feel better. And people are just raised that way. They were brought up that way. And that, there's, that's not, there's nothing wrong with that. We're not saying that there's anything wrong with that. We're saying that there's a better way to do it. There's a better way to do it. And in this book is the answer. That's cool. Yeah, a lot, a lot of a lot of little cool stuff. And, you know, one of the things you were kind of talking about before, and, like, we talk about the a lot when I do my terms, I talk a lot about the difference between a lead and a referral. And we talk about, like, the see, you generate a lead by what you do. You earn referrals by who you are and how you show up. You know, like, how are you showing up with people in your life? Are you recognizing? They say, you know, babies cry for it and, de and men die for it. And that's wow. recognition, appreciation. So we, we all strive. Or Mary Kay Ash says, you know, we all have this invincible sign around our neck that says, make me feel important. And so everybody, everybody craves it. I don't care who you are. And when somebody delivers that, you like them even more. So, you know, Tim Sanders, who was, I think, the chief operating officer of Yahoo, he wrote the book, The Likeability Factor. And he says the likeability factor might might just well be the single biggest thing for everything from political elections to uh, getting better service at a restaurant to always getting fit in. Like, I know there's some people watching this right now that says, I can call my dentist and get my kids anytime I want. Why? Because they're taking care of the people that are at the front. Maybe they bring them a little goodie. Maybe they bring them something. They're extra nice to them. They're pleasant with them. So when they call, they remember them. And they always find time to, to squeeze them in when there's no appointments. So just going through life like that. I mean, Tommy, wherever he goes in town, he's a celebrity. Why? Because he makes other people feel special. And I've taken a lot of pages out of his book. It, uh, I, well, the book that we wrote, but I'm just like... I spent so much time with him um, on the road and everything. and just seemed like one of our chapter titles, we got done doing a seminar in Houston, Texas about 10 years ago. And it was right, right before we wrote the book. And then he goes, he sits on there and he goes, we're, we're getting on the plane. It's just mis it's like so rainy out and it's just not very nice weather. And we're on a high because the day before we did a seminar, it was nine to five in the afternoon and we were just, 
It was so amazing. And so many lives were changed that day. It was just an incredible day. So we're getting on the plane feeling awesome, crappy weather. However, we take off and we pierce through the clouds. And all of a sudden, everybody's scrambling to pull down the shades because it is so bright. And he looks at me and he goes, brother, it's always sunny above the clouds. And then he goes, and then he goes, write that down, like Van Wilder, you know, write that down. And so I hurried up and wrote it down. It became a chapter title. So chapter 10 is it's always sunny above the clouds. And like, no matter how much crap, you can always rise above. And so when you play a lot, when you play at a different level in life and you rise above and you surround yourself with other people like that, there's, it's, it's just a wonderful feeling. And that's really kind of living in gratitude and putting things in perspective. So one of the chapter titles is called Appreciation for Breakfast. And, and you know, really starting off in the morning, getting your daily dose of gratitude and writing it down and expressing it and giving thanks for what you have, not being ungrateful for what you don't have. And your focus on what you do have expands. So you know what Oprah Winfrey says, what you appreciate, appreciates. That's so true. And Oprah has done a pretty good job for herself. Very good job. You were talking yeah. about the titles in the book. Guys, it's right here. It might take a second. It's always sunny above the clouds. Okay, we can go on and on and on about this book, but there's another piece to this podcast I want to get to. This gentleman, I, I, it was like a godsend. Um, the seminar that I watched Curtis at um, had a video. We'll talk about the video real quick. And he, he talks, and then he's like, okay, let me show you this video. And I'm a huge watch person. Like, I love watches. And he's like, let me show you my watch. And his watch says now on it it doesn't say the time it says now there you, that that right there and i'm like oh my god is this guy sound why what but his video was about things being done now and it was it was a really inspiring video and it's taking action now don't wait don't hesitate um fear builds up to you not doing it um i just wanted to give you a big shout out that video i watched it and everybody in the audience uh that i turned next to we're just like blown away because it's such a simple thing. And you're like, I'm going to take the time out. Just like you showed us the time's not there. The time is now. Bert, let's take a minute to talk about that. So like, break down that video. You can tell it a lot better than I can. So basically what happened was uh, 14 years ago, my brother Siles was killed in a freak dirt bike accident. And since his passing, I've come to realize a couple of things. Uh, one is that later is not a promise. And so for many, many, many years, for me, I never appreciated the present moment because my mind was always in the future. Like I, wherever I was, I felt like I needed to be someplace else. And, and it's a weird, it's a hard feeling. And like, so my wife, when I met my now wife, she really helped me be way more grounded and be more in the present moment. And then she's got some life experiences as well, very similar to mine. And we had this talk. And so before I met her, I went on Amazon and bought a watch and I ripped out the inside and I went to Staples and had it printed on like this heavy cardstock paper. And I ripped apart the watch and put in now. And the reminder was, it's the only time that matters. You know, there's now and there's later, later is not a promise. The only time that we have is right now. And so in tribute to my brother and my wife's situations that happened to her life and stuff, we decided to kind of create a little hobby. And it was it's more for us. And yes, we she has a friend that's overseas and we direct a manufacturer and we own timeisnow.com and stuff like that. So like um it was more like I guess I, I incorporate this into some of my speaking engagements and stuff. But the other thing that I realized is that the best investment that we can make is in relationships. See, relationships are the real currency in life. And you can lose it all tomorrow. And if you have amazing people around you, you're going to bounce back super fast. And oftentimes, you're going to explode past where you were before because of the experiences as long as you learn from them. Say that again. Relationships are everything. Relationships are the real currency. That's it, what I believe. And it took me a long time to learn that. And it's really sunk in over the last couple of years. Gro business growth. And no matter what you do, it could be your hobby. It could be your 
income producing business no matter it could be your tenants it could be your renters people are so used to someone trying to get something from them now or they're done with them now and they move on that's relationships are the the true currency you're absolutely right and i try to explain that so much so i'm so happy hearing you say that okay amazing what we'll do uh curtis is we'll get the link to your video and we'll put it in somewhere um, okay That's well cool. I, I, it's, yeah it's also a cool on video. Com too yeah it's a, yeah I, I i tell people about it i told people about it for like a month after i met you i mean it's That's a, funny you say that cuz i have i haven't shared that video at a ton of different seminars however when i do my longer seminars like my 3 hour ones i do have a whole piece where we talk about slowing down in order to speed up and like some of the things that we need to do one of my favorite books i've ever read is also the one thing by gary uh, keller i was just going to say that oh my god i was like literally thinking that the one thing the one thing yeah yeah and you know that helped me really kind of get hyper focused last year on exactly what i needed to do what i wanted to do and you know and that's you know i've actually uh, 12x my business just in the last seven and a half months eight months so not just 10x 12x 12x the business yeah better than great yeah. cardone well, I can say 10x. It has been 10x. So yeah, last month was 10x. So, so anyway, we, uh, we've grown the company ex extremely fast. And, and one of the biggest reasons is because of hyper focus. And, you know, this, there's a lot of things that they easily can come up as being a distraction. So I, I just hyper laser focused and, and buckled down. And then the one thing that's, you know, one of the things that he talks about, um, making priorities and stuff and sticking to them. He talks about it very, very well. I just read that book for the first time. I think I finished it like three weeks ago, and I'm going to read it again after two more books. Uh, I'm going to go back to it. And I implicated it. I've heard about it. I've read other stuff similar to it. But Gary Keller, Keller Williams, uh, the owner, I, I think he still owns it, he, and he doesn't talk about real estate. He just talks about that and how that helped him grow his business. And it's so true. And here I am. You know, I'm a puker. I try not to do that. Um, I just get excited and I want to help and I like, it just comes out and I have to, will, you know, uh, will or whatever tone down. And then the, that one thing, you think you're doing a lot of things and you're not, oh my God, and you're not doing anything because you're not finishing anything and honing in on that one thing. And I like how he says, what's the one thing that you can do that will eliminate all the other things? What's that one thing you can do? that will eliminate all the other things and make it better. And I, I tell myself that, and I actually write that down on a little post-it note, and I have it in my desk. And so, so I can look at it and say, okay, don't forget. All right, the part that, the, the, that um, I'm so excited to talk about, this whole podcast is just awesome. So many gold nuggets. Again, Jeff Osborne, uh, Jeff of all trades, with Curtis, national best-selling author. We have a national best-selling author. Uh, um, man, cloud nine right there. That you, That's my goal is to become one of those. And you are it. Um, uh, that's awesome. Okay. We're going to talk about um, something called AM cards. Yeah. AM cards. People think AM for appreciation marketing. Yes. When I think of AM, I think of first watch for some reason. The rest of it, it's like when I say AM cards, people are like, what is that? Is that coffee? I'm like, no, it's a game changer. So tell me a little bit about that. I have some slides that I pulled from my account. Um, I've heard you talk about it a hundred times, but give us a quick rundown of what AM cards is. Yeah. And the simple of it is that we, I, I, I say that I own a tech company that specializes in gratitude and referrals. And I work with a lot of business people. And what AM cards is, is it gives you the ability to go online and create your own greeting card or choose from one that we have type a message, click send. And we will print it out, stuff it in an envelope, put a real first class stamp and mail it out the next day. A couple of bucks, including the stamp. So it's very inexpensive way to really separate yourself because, you know, Hallmark did a study over 15 years ago saying that less than 2% of the mail that we get in our mailbox is personal. The rest is junk mail and bills. So when somebody gets something personal, we know what gets opened up first. And when you send it in a, in a nice, genuine, authentic way without trying to get something in return, it lands it lands with that little warm and fuzzy. And when it makes them feel good and they know that you care, you just you rank up in that that whole mind share game that you're trying to accomplish with everybody that's in your in your life. And so 
There's so many opportunities to recognize and appreciate people, especially because of social media, Instagram and Facebook sharing their lives. And give you an example, like you see somebody just had a baby, grab the picture, put it on a card and say, congratulations and send it to them. I guarantee you're going to get a text or you're going to get a call. You know, somebody passes away, you know, rec- you know, send them a card saying that you're sorry and that you're you're thinking of them. You know, there's so many opportunities. And so that's my favorite way to use it. However, there's so many other different ways. And you can upload a list and send all the invitations to an event or send a Thanksgiving card to 200 people with one click of the mouse. You put your own signatures on the inside, add gourmet fudge brownies or a Starbucks gift card or something like that and send it out. So I could go on and on about it. The biggest thing is what I'm going to do also in the link below. I'd like you guys, I want to give it away for free in the spirit of appreciation and gratitude marketing. So I just, I'll give it to you for free. It's amcards.com. You can sign up for free and you can send your first card on me anywhere in the United States. I pay for the card and pay for the stamp. And so have fun with that. And then uh, we may reach out to you and uh, we'll probably do something extra special for you as well. So uh, just give it a shot. It's a lot of fun. Great job, Curtis. You're given so much information. I like to back up and break it down. That Facebook, what you're, what Curtis is talking about. He has a company. I'm going to show you some pictures. This is easy. I'm, I'm not very tech at all, even though my platform looks like it, my secret weapon, my uh, technical support slash everything else behind the scenes uh, partner does all this, but I can do the cards Um, I can't do the cool pictures I'm going to show you, but I can send them. I can write in them. This is super, super easy. What Curtis is saying is when you see something on Facebook, you can literally screenshot it with your phone. Just screenshot it with your phone. You can download that and you can use this through um, your phone. You can, this isn't just desktop, laptop. You can work with it with your phone. You can put it on the face of the card, which we're going to get to, and you can send that card and it shows that it got sent and and it shows that it got sent. I'm going to I'm going to go one step above. I, If you do what I do, and I have a format where I send that same card multiple times, it actually will figure out if the name, the dear John, and if, the, and if I have uh, Jeff in the address, it actually says, wait a minute, this isn't the same name, and it questions you. Like, it, I, I was blown away. Like, if I have Christina, dear Christina, but I don't have the first name to the mailing address where I'm mailing it to, it actually flags it and it says, are you sure this is correct? I didn't know if you knew that, but like I was, because I would have made a mistake. I'm sending Chris, I'm sending John a, a card, but it says Christina in the card. It's like, wait a minute, that would have backfired, but it, it's like, it's dummy proof. It's, uh, it's, it's a great service. It's, I, I don't even know how you make money. It's like, it blows me away. You're, you're, you're getting a card for either two something or three something depending the program, and we'll get into that incentive what Curtis is talking about, but you're literally sending a car for under $3 that blows uh, um, CVS, Walgreens, and you actually have to drive there to go get the card. You do all of this on your laptop, and I'm going to show you my favorite card. Well, before that, uh, I'm going to show you a card that he has on here. I couldn't find the catch-up one that looked like a catch-up bottle. Is that one still on there? Yeah. It is? Okay, I'll put that in the link. But this is one that's very similar. He does stuff like this. Go ahead and put it up. Abracadabra. Oh, we're going to back up a little bit further. This is what it looks like. So when, and Curtis, you look online, you'll see it online here in a second. When you go, it's very simple. You only have a couple options. I don't like a lot of options. You have a couple options. So that's what it looks like. All right, we'll get rid of that. And then this one. Okay, so there's cool cards like this. I was, um, there's a lot more than this, but you see where it says, let's catch up, and he has tomatoes. Just very, very funny, funny stuff. Okay, we'll get rid of that one, and then I'm going to show you another one. Okay, this is the card. Um, can we see if I can make that bigger or no? This, I don't actually see it. Am I supposed to see it? You're going to see it on your live stream. Look on Facebook. Uh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, sorry. It's. Do you see the card now on Facebook? I'll go online there and take a look. I'm sure it probably is. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay, so on uh, everybody watching sees it. Okay, this is the card that I send everybody, and uh, it has. I'm holding my daughter and my other little daughter. I have two daughters, and it says, and it has me and my wife. And I say, our daddy loves, our daddy would love to find you a house. And then the bottom one says, 
what my big sister says. I get so many compliments. I mail this card out and then, you know, this could be someone looking now or looking a year from now, but they email me, they text me. Okay, get rid of it. Okay. They email me, they text me, and they're like, Jeff, your kids are amazing. That was such a good idea. I know. Um, and, and you can customize this stuff. Walgreens, CVS couldn't. And as soon as Curtis showed me this, I was like handwriting cards. I can't write to save my life. I can't even read my own handwriting. But I was writing them because that's what they say, handwrite cards. But what if you can't write or spell and you have really bad grammar like me? This is awesome because it makes it look like you're handwriting it. And let's show another one. What's another one? Okay, this is the back of the card. You can literally brand the entire card. It has my picture. It has my logo. It has all my information. And this is the back of the card. So you can literally customize it. And this took maybe 10 minutes. Well, it took... Hey, you know, you know I got I to gotta hook you up with my designer. So here's one. I don't know if you can see this or not. Here's one that was just made for this lady down in Naples. And so, like, you know, for 10 bucks, I have our designer create these for our our customers so they'll however you want like here's a happy home anniversary one yes uh, it's a card and then you know this is my signature on the inside you know and write it so i just uploaded these three too for real estate agents so we have a lot of real estate agent customers like 65 ways to sell your home faster yep hold, and there's hold, that, hold that right there i'm gonna i have a picture of that all right i have a picture of that and, so we can talk about it and then so what happens is on the inside, we have 65 ways, but it's a three-card campaign. So imagine meeting somebody in an open house that says, I'm going to sell my house in November. You can put them on a little drip campaign and add value to them. And, of course, this number 65 is hire me to sell your home. I'll get the job done. And you that's know, so the third card. That's the that's third a card. So on the inside, it has yeah. all the stuff. So it's all set. And then you just brand the back of the card however you want, and it's all set. Now, there's also one that we just put in there too, a value-added card. You ever heard of TaskRabbit? I have that. I already got. Okay, pull, I, pull that up. So, so this is one of the cards I uploaded too. And so I down, I just screenshot what the app looks like. So here's the cool thing. I put AstroTurf in my backyard for my son. He and did. we have like, and so I put the whole backyard. It's just awesome. So we go out there all the time. And one of the things that we are doing is I, I had this like, um, sand and, and rocks and stuff on the side of my house and i've been meaning to every single weekend to take care of it and i just haven't done it yet so i downloaded this app and i was like i just picked okay on sunday morning at 10 o'clock i want somebody to over my house with a truck to come take this all away and boom it was like i've been for five or six months i've been wanting to do it and every weekend there's something more important to do and so I know my neighbor wasn't too thrilled with having it there. So anyway, I had somebody come over, took care of it. It wasn't that expensive at all. And I'm like, this is great. So what a value add to just share with your customers and clients what this is. So anything they need to do inside and outside their house, they can see the profiles of the person, book it, and boom, it's done. Show, show the inside of that card. I want to talk a second about the. Yep, so what, what Curtis is showing you, this is all, all this is preloaded. The only one that wasn't was the one with my picture on it. All these are preloaded. Curtis has all this done for you. So if you're like me that doesn't know how to do anything and things get really complicated, you just literally type in their information and send it. That I saw that Curtis and I was like, this is genius. This is We're going to have a lot more. And you know, a lot of these are recommendations from our customers. So if you have something cool idea, we'll have our designers make it and upload it. So, you know, this is just some real estate examples. So, you know, there's all kinds of fun stuff and humor cards is that we're uploading as well. Um, to make it to make it fun, and that's the thing. People remember fun. People uh, appreciate you have the this stuff. Do you have the catch up one that I like the most? That you you had it with when I saw you in person last. Yeah, How I have it in my other bag. It's um it's online too. It's like let's catch up. It looks like a catch up bottle, and it's hilarious. All right, I want to show another one. He has quotes. So there's different categories. I think there's twenty. And uh, let's see, this is a quote. Is this my favorite one? Okay, no, this is the time is now. It's a picture of uh, like a sunset and the time is now and all the numbers are now. All right, let's show another quote. I get so excited about this. All right, this is a quote. My goal is to be the best thing to happen to my clients. So that, that and then let's show another one. Is this the one? Okay, this is my favorite one out of all the quotes. It's a skydiver. This is a skydiver. And there's like a 10-second delay, Curtis. You'll see it. In yeah, there. it's okay. Yeah. Okay, it says, good things come to those who wait, and it's crossed out, and there's a skydiver 
And it says, good things come to those who work their asses off and never give up. Uh, author. That's a Tommy Wyatt quote. That's one of the, he's a co-author of Appreciation Marketing. Yeah, it's one of his favorite quotes. That's, oh, not, it's his quote. It's his quote, yeah. That's our worth ethic. That is my worth ethic. That is your worth ethic. Um, you, cool. If you want it, you don't have to be the smartest guy in the room. By any means, I am not the smartest guy in the room. You just have to have a strong worth ethic and a commitment never to give up. And when I saw this uh, card service, I jumped on immediately. I was like, I need this. Even though I don't have anybody to, I had only a couple people to send them out once or twice a week. And it's just, I send out five to six cards every single week. And it took six months to start to see the results. But this is so easy. And that's the point I'm trying to get across. Jeff of All Trades Podcast, Curtis is on. He owns AM Cards, national bestseller of appreciation marketing. Uh, Mr. Celebrity uh, on today. I always call him that. But this AM Cards is no joke. This will build your revenue. This will add revenue. And, and, and you're adding it by just being kind. And I think Curtis has figured out a way for you to be kind and for you to be generous. It, it, like, it allows you to do that. And that's, I think that's hard nowadays or in this fast-paced world. Where it's like, how can I be different and how can I be kind? Because we all want to be nice to each other and we all want to go out of our way, but we have all these things. That's why the one thing by Gary Keller, focus on that one thing. And how can I be kind? It takes two minutes to send someone a card, but they have it on their fridge. I've been to people's houses and they kept my card. I got the listing. I got the listing and they had the card that I met from, uh, that I sent from my open house. And then they had the card that I sent again to follow up. And then I sent a Christmas one. And another cool thing, all the birthdays, you auto, you can put their birthday in and it will send it on that date. Like you can put all your birthdays in. You can actually do a campaign of cards and set it up just like an email system. Um, and this is, on, it's all online. It's all on YouTube. It's all broken down. Uh, sorry, my assistant is making me look over. Okay. So, but yes, guys, um, he's, if he, he's, okay. So when he was talking about giving you it, it's a monthly fee. Um, what is the monthly fee? It depends. Um, we have a few different uh, options, and we have a business license fee of two hundred and ninety-five dollars. And we have a promotion right, running right now. We're actually waiving the entire two ninety-five if somebody wants to enroll in a membership. And there's a few different memberships. The one that typically people choose is thirty-nine dollars a month. It comes with twenty cards a month, and the credits roll over every month for a whole year if they don't use them right away and there's no contract and there's no commitment. So we also have an $18 a month package and a 69 and it, it, the prices vary, but the 39 is basically two bucks a card, including the 55 cent stamp. That's includes a stamp. And that, that's what you can add a picture. You can add all of that. You can do everything. It's it, you can't buy a card for $2. That's your time going to the store. That's gas going to the store. And you're going to spend $5 on a card, and then you're going to spend like 10 minutes trying to read and look at them because they're so hard to find. And you know, a lot of people have great intentions to do this stuff. And the reason why they don't is either it's just time consuming. It's a pain in the butt. It can be very expensive. So we eliminate all of those obstacles. And then it gets back to just making sure that you carve out the time to do it. And that's what I love about Gary Keller too. One of his biggest things is that if you want to be great, you need to actually take the time. And what you need to do is time block. So you say, this is the time. So one of the little things that I do is a little hack is if I'm scrolling through Facebook, I'll screenshot and I'll email it to myself and not open up that email until I'm time blocking and I'm sending cards. Then I open up my email, do a search for my own. And there's a whole bunch of them that are weighted. And like one of the things that Tommy says is like, it's never too late to appreciate so like, even if you're late, just do it anyway. And no timing is always great. However, if you're late, a lot of people aren't expecting it anyway. So even when it comes they're they're like, oh, I've been meaning to get around to share with you how much, uh, what you did meant to me or whatever it may be, or thank you. Um, I mean, it means a lot to people. So just taking the time to actually do it and scheduling it into your planner saying like, this is my 30 minutes a week that I'm going to focus on my appreciation marketing. And customizing a little plan for you and your business and making it uh, make more customized. There's so many different things that you can do. Greeting cards is not the only thing. It just just so happens to be one of the ways to really help stand out. It's one of the fast. Well, this makes it one of the fastest and more efficient ways. That's for sure. I can do 10 of them. I time block every Monday 
Uh, and my goal and my time is between 10 and 11 to get all my cards out, get it done, get the information out there. So by Tuesday, Wednesday, they get the card. And when I'm following up with them, you know, I know they've gotten the card. And, and it's just, it's a, it's a great asset, no matter if you own a pharmacy, no matter if you own a construction company, no matter what you own, because you, you really can never send enough thank you cards when someone does, when you're done with the job and they paid you or whatever the service is, send a thank you card. And this just, it makes it where you're on the refrigerator, you know, hey, I got a card. And, and when they talk to friends, I've had uh, clients say, my realtor sends me cards with pictures on it, you know, of him. Um, we're, we got to end the show here. We're running out of time. I'm going to ask a yeah, couple. My phone might die here soon too. So just a heads up. All right. So also with the greeting card, you can send gift cards, right? You can send food, right? So it's not just cards. There's options to send um, cupcakes. You sent me brownies, which were freaking amazing. They were like a thousand calories a piece, but they were really good. No. You can you can send gift cards, so it's not just cards. Okay. Uh, so we talked about the book, guys. Download. Well, I will have all the information with the link to download this. Yeah. So we'll give you a free audio, audio book, and I also want you to check out and send a greeting card if it's possible to send a card to your mom. I want you to send a card to your mom. Take a picture if it's possible. You know, I understand some people are are blessed with their mom right at this point. So. You know, pick somebody that, that, that you care about, send them a card, make it personal, let them know how much you appreciate them, and we'll see what happens because it makes you feel really good. It makes them feel good, and then you'll kind of get a good taste of what the system is all about and then, you know, let it carry over into your business and stuff. I, I truly believe it's a secret weapon, and I have a program that I do called Opening Doors and Closing Business, and these cards really help open up doors. 100%, 100%. Take advantage of the AM cards. I I had to pay. I didn't I didn't get I missed out on a deal. Uh, um, he did have an incentive, but he's literally waiving the one time fee to get the thing set up. He's waiving that. And let's say you don't have a business and you just want to have it family for friends. You can do the eighteen dollar a month plan. You can do the forty dollar a month plan, or you can do the other plan depending how. It's 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 just real easy. Okay, guys, a little recap. Jeff of all trades. We have Curtis book. Take advantage of the book. We talked about AM cards. Um, put a picture of the AM card up there again. Uh, let's do the top one. That's that's catch up. No, the top one. There you go. Ah, okay, AM cards, and we'll have all this information. Um, please comment if you have any questions for uh, me or for Curtis. Um, this is just the tip of the iceberg of what Curtis does, guys. He's a speaker. Um, he, he spoke on big stages. That's how I met him as a speaker. And Curtis, thank you so much. Uh, you have no idea how happy I am to have you. And I'm, I'm going to go back and make another video of this and write down all the gold nuggets and put it in the link so uh, people can learn from this and then take that and add value to their clients. Okay. Thank you. So awesome. Well, thank you so much for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. And Curtis, I'll put all your information in there. So if anybody wants to reach out, has any questions, hire Curtis for uh, modeling because you know he looks like ah! like that baby face. <laughs> he has that. He, he doesn't age. This guy has looked like this for like three years. He like he's like uh, the guy that plays in the Matrix. He doesn't age. Kona Reeves or something. Okay. So thank you again. Please uh, like, subscribe to my YouTube page. This will be on the podcast app on iPhone on Galaxy. Download the podcast. It's a must watch. Now, if they download the podcast and listen to this a month later, are they still able to get the incentive? I, uh, are they still able to track down? I'll give you I'll give you the link so that if people request okay. it, you can shoot it out to them. Okay, guys. So you heard it there. Even if you hit this up a month or two from now, you can still take advantage of it. And that's what type of guy this guy is. He's, he's a giver. And, and that's what his book's all about. Again, thank you, Curtis. Um, we got to do another one, man. We, I, ah. we got to do another one. That's for sure. And everybody listening, thank you. Have a good day again. Tell Crystal I said thank you as well. My, my she's my secret tech, uh, you know, partner. My secret tech partner. Hey, get out! Yay! <laughs> she doesn't exist. I do everything. Okay, <laughs> it's all on my shoulders. I do it all. Okay, <laughs> awesome, brother. All right, guys, thank you, Jeff of all trades. Next Tuesday episode, I have a termite inspector. We're going to talk about termites. So exciting. But for real, we're going to talk about stuff that you should look for when you go buy a house. I have an inspector on. Jeff, uh, Jeff of all trades, amazing guest, Curtis. I'll see you next Tuesday. 
if you had uh, if you want to reach out to me, have any questions, uh, or if you want to um, talk about your uh, goals or business, I am available. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Thank you, Jeff.